In this reaction, we have silver nitrate plus copper 2 chloride. This is a double displacement reaction. The silver and the copper, they're going to change places in this reaction. And we're going to end up with a silver chloride, which is a solid. That'll be our precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube in this aqueous copper 2 nitrate. Let's count the atoms up on each side and balance the equation. We have one silver, and then this nitrate, it stays together. We have it here, and we have it here. It's a polyatomic ion, so we're going to count this as just one item. And when you're dealing with double displacement reactions, that can be very helpful. It can make the balancing just a lot easier. We have one copper and then two chlorines. On the product side, we have one silver. We have the one nitrate times the two. So we have two of them here, one copper and one chlorine. It looks like the chlorines and then the nitrates, those aren't balanced. Let's start with the chlorine. We have two here and one here. So we could put a two in front of the AgCl we'd have one chlorine times two. So that would give us two chlorine atoms. Those would be balanced. But for the silver, one times two, that gives us two silver atoms. So they aren't balanced. Why don't we just balance the silver atoms, see how that goes. That might fix the nitrates. So we have two here and one here. We'll put a coefficient of two in front of the AgNO3. We have one times two. That'll give us two silver atoms. Those are balanced. And then one nitrate times the two and that gives us two nitrates, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So by counting this nitrate here as one item because it stays together in the chemical reaction, that makes the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for AgNO3 plus CuCl2. Thanks for watching.